Roy Jones Jr. or Floyd Mayweather? Who had the better prime? We answer that next. Please like and subscribe. Help us hit 10,000 subscribers. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to a special edition of Sunday Morning Champion. Uh, we want to get into something. Uh, there's been a Facebook controversy, a Twitter controversy, uh, debate sparked outrage uh, between Roy Jones Jr. and Floyd Mayweather Jr. Um, two of the greatest fighters who've ever lived. Uh, but who, who was better in their prime? Uh, Roy Jones came out and said that he was the better fighter between the two. Uh, but Roy, uh, Roy said he was the better fighter between the two. Uh, but Floyd was the best at making money. Um, most people, I, I think, tend to think that Floyd was better. And I, and I want to answer this question. Um, I love doing this. It's a completely pointless debate where there is no right answer. Uh, that being said, I'm going to take a, a crack at, at answering it. Um, look, first things first. Roy Jones Jr. and Floyd Mayweather aren't two great fighters. They're two special fighters. They're two fighters you may never see again ever in your lifetime. That's how good those two fighters were. Neither fighter in their prime was beatable. So the conversation, the debate is kind of mute. You know, one guy was a middleweight to a light heavyweight and then went up to heavyweight. You know, the other guy started at super featherweight and went up to 154. Kind of. No, he went to 54. He fought De La Hoya at a full 154. So, look, neither guy could be beaten, right? Um, if you take the Floyd Mayweather that fought Toro Gatti or Zab Judah, that version, uh, mid-2000s, that guy can't be beaten. Carlos Baldemir, um, that guy can't be beaten. Um, if you take Roy Jones from the late 90s, mid-90s, late 90s, uh, Vinny Pazienza or uh, Virgil Hill or, or anything in between those guys, James Tony, Murky Sosa, Brian Brandon, any of those type, uh, that Roy who beat any of those type guys. Montel Griffin in the rematch, Lou Duvall at the Garden, any of those guys, that, that Roy Jones, that guy definitely can't be beaten. So neither guy could be beaten in their prime. So this kind of gets a little tedious, but I, I want to attempt to answer it. So, what's the right answer? Who is better in their prime, Roy Jones Jr. or Floyd Mayweather? These guys' primes overlap for several years. Um, late 90s, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, both guys were in there for 2003, 2004. Both guys were in their primes. 2003. Roy was better. So their primes overlapped and Roy was better. That means Roy's prime was better. Now that doesn't mean Roy was a better that doesn't mean Roy had a better career or was Roy greater or does Roy go down as the greater fighter? What I'm saying is a nineteen nine Virgil Hill was one of my favorite Roy Jones Jr. Uh, performances. And then Lou Duval was next, which was which was classic Roy. Ninety-eight Roy Jones Jr. I'll say that's the best version of Roy, that's twenty nine year old Roy. And a 29-year-old version of Floyd Mayweather. My favorite, but Floyd's best performance was was probably Corrales. Uh, it may have been Canelo, but I think it was Gaddy. Um, I think that was his best performance. That was a 29-year-old Floyd Mayweather. So let's compare those two guys. 29-year-old Floyd, 29-year-old uh, Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. is better. He couldn't be touched, right? The thing about Roy is, though, he's better defensively. He's better. Skill. Look, Roy went an entire round. Against Vinny Pazienza, a multi-division world champion, without getting hit. That's something Floyd's never done. I don't want to hit a level of competition. Both guys fought a lot of excellent fighters. Both guys fought guys who are aging and not that great. Okay? Both guys have an excellent resume. Uh, look, and I, and I want to get into that. We'll get into that later. But Roy's resume, he fought everyone at 175. He didn't fight Darius Mikulczewski. Mm, okay. Floyd didn't fight Paul Williams or Antonio Margarito or Costa Zoo. You know what I'm saying? We, we can play this game. You can't fight every, You can't literally fight everyone unless you're Bernard Hopkins. You fought everyone twice and lost to Roy Jones in his prime. Badly. Um, look, Roy Hopkins is a great fighter and, and Roy embarrassed him. I don't want to say embarrassed him. Dominated him. He dominated James Tony. There's no one on Floyd's Mayweather, Mayweather's resume who's as good 
as a prime James Tony. I'm not knocking Floyd for that. Floyd fought plenty of good fighters, but he doesn't have a James Tony, a prime James Tony on his resume. I know you guys are gonna say De La Hoya. De La Hoya wasn't his prime. Cotto's not as good um, as, and neither is Canelo. None of those guys are as good as James Tony. Uh, James Tony was a special fighter, a real good rhythm fighter. Um, no one was as good as, as Tony on, on Floyd Mayweather's resume. I mean, you can go through his resume. It's just not the case, you know. That being said, Roy punished guys, right? So you would say Roy, uh, Floyd was the better defensive fighter. Roy didn't get hit. You couldn't touch Roy, right? Roy may not have been as fundamentally sound as Floyd. He may not have been as skilled as Floyd. But that athleticism, that speed, that uh, those reflexes, you couldn't touch him, right? So the reason why Floyd fought until he was 38 at a very high level when Roy didn't was because Floyd was more fundamentally skilled. I'm going to make a comparison real quick. Kobe Bryant has one million different moves, shots, pump fakes, uh, moves that he can go to. LeBron James blows past you. Okay? Um, Kobe Bryant is a more skilled basketball player. Facts be told, LeBron James is probably better. Hakeem Olajuwon is a more skilled basketball player than Shaquille O'Neal. Way more. Baseline moves, fadeaways, turn, turnarounds, uh, passing. He does, he's so much more skilled than Shaquille O'Neal. But Shaquille O'Neal's natural size and, and ability probably makes him better. I don't want to say Olajuwon's, uh, O'Neal's better than Olajuwon, but that's very close, right? But th that's the same kind of thing. Yeah, Floyd does is better. He's more skilled. He's more fundamentally sound. That being said, what Roy offered was unbelievable. That athleticism had never been seen before and may never be seen again. It was, he would toy with world-class fighters. They couldn't touch him, right? And then Floyd had more power, clearly had more power and was more aggressive than Floyd. Uh, Floyd doesn't have any one-punch knockout. Roy's got a Go watch the Montel Griffin rematch. Go watch Roy Jones Jr. versus Montel Griffin, too. Go watch Roy Jones Jr.'s body shot against Virgil Hill. And I'm not saying Floyd's got good power. He had decent power. He had snapping power. He didn't have devastating one-punch power, and that came with lightning. It was like you know, Manny Pacquiao power when Pacquiao was in a small weight class. It would come from bizarre angles for, in, in lightning, you know, lightning quick from, from a array of angles. You know, uh, Floyd could toy on people to a degree, but it wasn't really his thing. He couldn't go in and knock you out, right? Uh, especially as he moved up in weight. Go watch Floyd hit McCollum. And, and look at the size difference between Roy Jones Jr., who should have never been at 175, and Mike McCollum. Uh, McCollum, again, a Hall of Fame-worthy fighter. Roy just blasts them with one shot at a time, putting them on the canvas. Floyd couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking Floyd. Floyd is one of the greatest fighters who has ever lived. He's the best fighter of that era, right? So uh, let's say from 2003 to 2015, Floyd's the best fighter of that era, no question, right? And that's a longer era. It was a longer period of dominance, but in their absolute prime, you take a 29-year-old, 28-year-old Roy Jones Jr. or 28, 29-year-old Floyd Mayweather, who can do more? Who's more impressive? The answer is Roy Jones Jr. And we know this because when they were in their prime at the same time, say the year 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, both fighters in their prime at the same time. Who's better? Roy's better. Roy's better. Again, I know the Floyd Mayweather fans are going to be hating, but if you're not old enough, I'm, I don't want to, I'm in my mid-30s. If you're not old enough to have remembered how good Roy Jones Jr. was to say 1986, go pull up a tape. Go pull up the Virgil Hill fight. Go, go pull up the Montel Griffin rematch. This guy will amaze you. The hand speed, the reflexes, the lightning quick punches coming from bizarre angles, all angles. One punch knockout power from a guy who couldn't be hit. You know what I'm saying? Did he want to win every round from you and embarrass you? Or did he want to knock you out with one shot? Because he could do it either way. I can't remember any guy who could do it either way. Um, and again, none of this is a knock on Floyd. I'm going to get to that because Floyd had the better career. Um... Again, maybe it was because he was more fundamentally sound than Roy. That he could, when he got older, he could rely on his skill, not just his insane athleticism. Both guys are, are, are special athletes, but Roy, as an athlete, is something we've never seen before. Um, and, and Floyd was obviously an amazing athlete too, but he wasn't the athlete. Roy was, but he was a better boxer. He, he was more fundamentally sound. He had a higher ring IQ. 
Yeah, there was more things that Floyd could do which he could rely on, like Kobe Bryant when we we're making that analogy, than could Roy who who relied more on God given stuff, right? Um Floyd was a more of a master of his trade, and that's why it translated later into his career. The reason why he could outbox Canelo Alvarez, a young, prime, hungry Canelo Alvarez, was because he was such a better boxer, right? You know, when Roy slowed down, he started getting knocked out. When Floyd slowed down, he adapted. Roy couldn't adapt like Floyd, but now we're talking about what they did after their prime. That's not the conversation. Floyd had a better career, okay? But who was better in the absolute prime? Roy Jones Jr. No one ever questioned. In, 19, in 2002, no one ever questioned. Both guys are in their prime, right? No one ever questioned if Floyd Mayweather was better than Roy Jones Jr. Because everyone knew he wasn't. And that's not a knock on him again. He just wasn't better than Roy Jones Jr. 35 years old, Roy Jones Jr. in his prime. Best fighter I'd ever seen. Now, am I biased? Because I grew up on that. He was the guy that wowed me into boxing. I loved watching him. It was like I couldn't wait um, until Roy Jones Jr. was fighting. My dad took me to a Roy Jones Jr. fight at the theater at Madison Square Garden against Lou Duvall. It was awesome. That being said, you know, am I being biased? I don't know. He was the guy that turned me on. If you're going to tell me Floyd Bay Mayweather is better... Tell me what he did, how he was better. Give me the fights where he looked more impressive than Roy Jones Jr. looked against Naval, Virgil Hill, Montel Griffin, Brian Brandon, Eric Lucas, Mer uh, Murky Sosa, Vinny Pazienza, um, all those guys. There was this two, Reggie Johnson. Yo, go look up Reggie Johnson. Reggie Johnson was a two weight division world champion. I'm going to tell you that 160, 175. Reggie Johnson was a great fighter. Roy Jones absolutely annihilated him. It wasn't even competitive. Go look up those. Like, go look at what he did to Richard Hall um, in a fight that should have never been made. But he was, I mean, he was light years, light years, light years. They couldn't touch him. He was so far better than anyone else. And again, if you're my age or older, you probably know what I'm talking about. But if you're, you know, if you're substantially younger than me and you didn't witness a live Roy Jones, I'm telling you, go back and watch the Reggie Johnson fight. Go back and watch the Lou Duvall fight. All my personal, two personal favorites, uh, the Virgil Hill body shot, um, and the Montel Griffin rematch. Go watch those fights and, and tell me I'm wrong, because I ain't wrong. Um, again, Floyd probably had, the, Floyd did have the better career. He was extended his career longer because of, of all the skills and, and the ring generalship and running IQ that he had and, and all the all the stuff that he learned, um, all the boxing knowledge, all the boxing wisdom that he had. He prolonged his career, so he had a better career. That's not the question. The question was, who was better in their absolute prime? And the physical prowess and athleticism uh, and raw skill of Roy Jones Jr. is unmatched. I don't know that there's ever been any fighter ever better than Roy Jones Jr. in his prime. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below uh, for the Roy Jones Jr. versus Floyd Mayweather episode. This is 3D Boxing from Texas to the world. Signing off, saying thank you, and God bless. Enjoy 3D Boxing vlog videos? Show us some love by clicking the like button. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3dboxingvlog.com is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.